Good afternoon, and welcome to Internet Roundup. That's Josh, and I'm Chuck, and we do the Stuff You Should Know podcast. And I'm just joking. We really have fun in here. I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, sorry. Is this the somber version? You can do this the whole time? <laughs> I knew you'd crack. I couldn't help myself. So uh, each week we sit down here in our home studio and we round up the internet uh, like we do every week. Yeah. And I explain it every week still. Yeah, it's weird. You never know when there's new people that might be like, well, who are these guys? Yeah, I can't possibly figure out what they're doing. And what is that? <laughs> I told you my brother came in here. He's like, you look like John C. Riley. <laughs> Got him good. Got him good. All right. First up this week, I dug up a little something from Nevada, which uh, you Is never know. Is it the know. way it's supposed to be pronounced? That's what they say. Okay. Uh, you never know what they're going to do out there in Nevada. As evidenced by this headline, Nevada bill would allow sick pets to use medical marijuana. This is not a joke. Uh, there's a Democratic senator named, <laughs> and this isn't a joke either, Tick Seegerblom. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Vote <He's>, for Tick. <laughs> he, <laughs> exactly. Tick for tick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll bet he used that. Tick Siegerblom sponsoring a measure, um, SB 372, that of course is tagged to a larger bill. It always is. Well, yeah, that's the larger bill. Oh, that is the larger mm-hmm. bill? No, but I mean, uh, there are other things on the right. bill. It's, it right. is a small part of this larger bill. Right. But it's all pot centric, right? Yeah. It is all pot centric. Um, basically, he's saying, you know what? If a veterinarian says your dog or your cat could be aided by medical marijuana um, sounds a little bit like palliative care well, yeah or maybe recuperation after surgery uh-huh. then you can get that prescription for your dog just don't smoke your dog's prescription but there were some troubling things in here from uh, some quotes that makes me think they really don't know what they're talking about specifically T- uh, Seeger Blom said uh, I'm concerned that some animals may have adverse reactions but you don't know until you try yeah right <laughs> Really? Yeah. Wow. There was another um, state representative who's like, I don't know about this. Haven't you ever seen what happens to a dog when you give them pot? They go like this. <laughs> he didn't do that, did he? It's spelled out right here. Oh, okay. It's in brackets. So. Well, they did find uh, in Los Angeles, Doug Kramer, a veterinarian, that told the AP in 2013 that he had a Siberian husky whose pain was eased with marijuana. But it is clearly the... Uh, very early in the game because I have always heard you should not, you know, give marijuana to your animals. Sure. Like chocolate, pot, tin foil. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tax. Yeah. Thumbtacks. Yeah. None of that stuff you should feed to your dog. Yep. Uh, so I don't know about this marijuana thing. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all for it... easing pain, all for medical marijuana if that's what someone needs. But I wonder if it's just a case of like, there's just been no real academic study on it and like it'd be fine for dogs just no one knows that's the impression i have is everybody's just kind of like no one knows so should we be legislating (laughs) that it's okay to give pot to a dog when you don't really know yet if it's okay yeah to give pot to a dog i think uh seager blom is just going to take to the senate floor and go no he's going to be like everybody mellow out right (laughs) let's just vote yay uh the other pot things on the bill um one is it's going to overhaul the uh, penalties for drivers who have marijuana in their blood if well, they yeah. are uh, medically marijuana up. <laughs> right. But that's a that's a thing. Um, I remember we were contacted by a guy who was like, you need to, you need to um, adjust the DWI laws yeah. because you can, if they're testing your blood and you're, you're going to test positive for pot, but it doesn't mean you're stoned right then. Right. So the apparently the um, state one, of the art hasn't caught up to the current law in some states like Colorado or so like Washington. They can't tell if you have pot in your system right now. They can tell you have pot right. No, not like they can't within, tell if you're stoned. Yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. you're okay. like Right. <laughs> you know, while you're driving. In That's which called case, the old eyeball you should test. not be doing that. <laughs> yeah. I got pulled over one time and a cop tested me for that. He did a finger follow thing hmm. and I think your eyes are supposed to twitch or something at the corners. Oh, really? Yeah. Or you're, you know, you're supposed to just follow with your eyes. And if you go right. like this, right. they're like, no, I right. said just your eyes. Settle down there. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened. He was testing you for pot? Yeah. Weird. He asked straight up. This was in college. He's like, he's like, straight up, now tell me. He said, have you been smoking marijuana, Mr. Bryant? <laughs> I was like, no. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Huh. He gave me a few tests and let me go home. Chuck passed. Chuck passed. 
What's up next, man? We got streetartutopia.com. Oh, yeah, streetartutopia. That which is, is a very cool um, site to just kind of hang out on. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of street art from around the world, and there's some really neat stuff that people are doing. But specifically, we found one that kind of wraps it all up. It's um, 60 of the most beloved street art photos, year 2014. Yeah, we're big fans of street art. Uh, I know you are in particular, but Atlanta is a great city for murals here in recent years. Yeah, yeah. Murals everywhere in Atlanta. Yeah. Really neat ones. Sure. And a lot of these are murals. Some of them are uh, just arty. Some are political statements. Yeah. Um, Did you see the one with the tree wrap? No. So there it is right there. Oh. This artist took um, a wrap basically like just some paper, some plastic or something, and wrapped uh-huh. it around the tree and then painted it to look like the background so it looks like the tree is floating separate. Oh, neat. Like it's just missing a segment. It's right that there, is, look. That is very cool, Isn't actually. that cool? Um, my favorite one, I don't know if this is in the best of for the year, but I was just looking through the site. Yeah. There is a uh, Winnie the Pooh floating, as, you know, just on a big column, a Winnie the Pooh, we'll put that up there too, floating away on some with some balloons and a bunch of like riot police jumping up and trying to uh-huh. catch him. I think that's a Banksy. Is it? I think so. Yeah. I don't know if it's Banksy or not. No. Oh, it's not. It's Herr Nelson. Nilsson. Oh, I see. In uh, Sweden. H E R R Nilsson. Banksy's all over the place in this site, though, of course. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So uh, there you go. So Support Street Art Utopia. Art. Yeah. Dot com. You find lots of neat websites. I think you're good at that. That's neat. Thanks for that compliment. I'm just like, Ooh, BBC. Uh, Facebook. Uh. <laughs> Facebook? What is that? <laughs> Don't waste your time. Oh. Is that all you got? Yeah. All right. Well, that is Internet Roundup for this week, and uh, we will see you guys right here in our clubhouse next week. We started this phone out somber, and look how we're ending. Exactly. <laughs>